All right, this is Jihad Muhammad at Mizan K9 Kennel. Uh, today, what we're gonna be doing is sharing with you the formula, one of the formulas that we use uh, to start our puppies out on solid food. Uh, we are dealing with the kind of corsos. They were born on uh, January the 3rd. Today is the 26th, so they are 23 days old. Uh, some of the things that you're gonna need is uh, medium-sized bowl, big spoon, small spoon, an egg, you want your egg to be room temperature, uh, a can of dog food. I always use this cheap uh, pedigree ground mush. Uh, you can use something different if you like, but this, keep in mind, this is just to start them to eat solid foods. Uh, there'll be some people that agree with this food, some people that don't. I also have over here, this was half full, just a thing of uh, a value pack 2820. And uh, I put some warm water in here and just basically let it sit for a while until it starts to fill up. Make sure that it's soft. Uh, I have red cell. I really give them this red cell for the acquired taste because I will be using red cell as uh, the puppies get older. Some of us will use that red cell. So I put it in there, and it does have some vitamins and minerals in it that's good. I have a little bit of dye in, you'll see. I also have this peel, NutriVet peel here. And I, I'll use one of these on every feed. We're dealing with nine puppies. Now these puppies were, uh, some of them were up to three pounds last week when it was two weeks old. And then this is powder goat milk that I use. So with all of this, when you do your mix, you want it to be room temperature or a little bit above room temperature. Not hot enough to, uh, not hot, but warm. So the first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and uh, I'll drop my can of dog food in here. In the bowl first. You don't really have to do this in no particular order. As long as it get mixed up together. I also have uh, pyranto. Remember that we get pyranto by weight. I got nine. I got nine puppies. All of them are about three pounds. All of them around three pounds. At least it was around three pounds several days ago. We're gonna give them a little bit of that. I'm cracking my egg in there now. Uh, Go ahead and crush my peel up. A peel crusher. You can get the peel crusher from um, Amazon for about seven dollars. This is a peel cutter and crusher. And it's not doing a very good job of crushing right now. Uh, maybe I need to turn it more. There you go. But you want the peel crushed up. You don't have a peel crusher. You can always take a spoon on a hard surface, crush the peel. So the peel should look once it's crushed up. Might have to take a... Uh, Where's my spoon? Take <laughs> this thing out of there. Get all that out. Now I'm going to give a spoon for the dying. I mean, red cell, this is red cell. Then I'll do. Now, remember, this is the first time that they're having anything introduced to their system, with the exception of their mom, mother's milk and the pyranto that we gave them on last week, because we do pyranto here at uh, two weeks old. And there's your dying. Give it a nice sweet taste. 
if you want to do some probiotics, a little bit of probiotics is fine. Just uh, remember how many puppies you have in the litter, what their approximate weight is, and then just mix it in according to that. Uh, I'm going to do... I'm going to do a... I don't like the way that's on there. Hmm. My wrong end. I'm gonna I'm gonna forego the pyranto. It's not necessary. I'm not gonna put that in there. But you do wanna deworm your puppies at two weeks, four weeks, six weeks. And if you still have them at eight weeks old, you wanna deworm them. Okay, so this is warm, uh, uh, room temperature, you just pour it in, okay? And now you're gonna also put some milk in here. This is goat milk. Put you a little bit of that in there. Okay. And mash it all together. Take your time, mash it together. Now this is uh, me mashing it together, trying to get everything blended real good. If you feel like it's not blended well because of the kibbles, then you can let it sit 20, 30 minutes, however long you need to let it sit. But believe me, these puppies are gonna eat around the kibble. If it's not soft enough, they will eat around it, that's fine. And then after they are finished, what I would recommend is you put the mother up. And, uh, but I'll do another video, I'm gonna do another video in just a second. So you'll see exactly how I introduced this food to them. Some of them, three of them, already ate uh, some solid food few days ago. So they're gonna go straight to it. And the others, other six are gonna follow their lead. So this is mixed up, blended real good. I'm gonna come back with the other video uh, in just a second. Peace.